Welcome to Suffolk, a peaceful English county with lots of easy walking trails which cost nothing to enjoy. A great destination for a Yorkshireman. In this video we highlight a few of the lovely walks we made during our short stay with our family of fair maids. First we visit Redgrave and Lopham Fen. It is the largest river valley fen in England and is the source of the River Waveney as well as being one of the most important wetlands in Europe. The marsh is home to the raft fen spider, Britain's largest, rarest and most elusive spider. It is only found in three places and Lopham Fen is one of them. Bird spotting in the reserve is abundant. Marsh harrier, chit chats, buntings and low flying swans one which flew very close over our heads. Wild ponies roamed the fens and suddenly a herd galloped past us, nearly knocking us off our feet. Leaving the fens, we drive to Nettisall Heath. Nettisall Heath is an ancient landscape of lowland grassland and woodland that has changed little since the Anglo-Saxon age. Here you will encounter Exmoor ponies and visitors are asked not to disturb or approach them. However, the ponies approached us. If they do approach you, please don't feed the ponies. Feeding them can cause serious health problems. Moving on, we took the time to sit and relax and enjoy listening to the calming sound of nature. Leaving the reserve, we took an opportunity to see several iconic windmills in the area. Felnatham, being a fully restored working mill which opens to the public on certain days throughout the year. Upthorpe Mill, Stanton, was built in 1781 and is a post mill on a single storey roundhouse. And Bardwell, an early 19th century tower mill. A walk around Bardwell village will bring you across the medieval church of St Peter and Paul, built in the 1300s and one of the prettiest churches for miles. Talking of wind and sails, our next walk took us over Fenland and to the banks of the River Waveney. I have tried my hand at sailing on a couple of occasions, but to no avail. So I have great respect for those great sailors who have circumnavigated the world's oceans by sail. Along the River Waveney, we visited the quaint market town of Beckles and its lively marina. Back along the river footpath, we stopped to watch the sailing boats tacking in the spring breeze. It was both calming and fun to watch. To end our stay with our beautiful nibblings, there was only one marsh we hadn't experienced yet. The Marsh Mallow. 